Well, I think this is supposed to be an announcement for a new guy that's supposed to be riding for one of the most, the biggest companies in Borden. He switched his shoe company from the shoe that he rode for before. Now he's on a bigger company. He's probably the only guy who I like to watch skate contests and demos almost more than I like to watch them skate real street. He throws out these little sneak previews of stuff he's working on and you can kind of see like, whoa, he's working on that trick? That's going to be gnarly. When I first met him, he was gnarly, for sure. And I think he was just about coming on the scene then, causing a, a few stirs here and there from what he'd done on the Carlsbad Gap. And fuck, he was gnarly back then. And I guess he just got gnarlier and gnarlier. It was right after that, was, he was just on Gone on World. He was with Chad Fernandez. His arms are as big as my legs. He's a nice bloke, always super friendly, very cordial. What other street skater does a low-C grind? It ain't fucking Tony Hawk. He's just a ripper and one of, the, one, of the, one of the nicest guys in skateboarding. I'm still thinking that the A-team is bummed they lost this guy, is what I'm thinking. He punches the board and it flies like a fucking mile. The way he carries his body is really interesting, and it kind of reminds me of, like, a centaur. One of the best, if not the best dude out there right now. I hope he gets a big contract because he is worth it.